Hello everyone, my name is Ashwin Prabhu. This is the 10th video of the tutorial uh, Software Defined Networking. Uh, in the last video, I showed you how Dempo file is used and uh, the changes in the topology are saved in a text file using Dempo file. Now, I will show you a bit more detail about what changes can we do to the topology and how those changes um, will be shown in the text file. Uh, but before running that, I'll just show it to you one thing over here. Basically, um, in the previous uh, dumper file which I executed, um, all these files were generated. Now, if I want to clear that, I'll just show it to you. So, all these files are already generated. I've done. Uh, I've used the rm.py script, which will basically remove all these text files. Uh, inside it, it is nothing but uh, the command to delete a particular file. So I'll just run this file python rm.py and once this is run if I do a ls now so all these files are cleared. Now I can run a dumper file fresh again and use it. So uh, this just for letting you know that we are doing it from scratch again. So uh, currently uh, three hosts are connected to three switches and uh, basically it's a linear one um, and it is running because uh, we are using our way controller at the background so if I do a ping on all these files will be dumped and I don't need the controller anymore so I'll just exit this So once I exit this, I'll run the dumper file again, which will generate those files. So if I run this file, so it will carry, catch all those topology details uh, and it will show it to you over here as I showed it in the last video, right? So these are all the link details which get entered. So if any particular link goes down, for example, just show it to you. Oh, sorry, links. So there's a link between H1, S1, H2, S2. So if you want to bring a particular link down, there's a command for that in Minnet. I sh uh, we spoke about that earlier. So it's link H1, S1 down. So you can so oh, you can see that. So as soon as the link goes down, you get a port modify uh, packet over here, over this side. So if I do a link S2, H2 down, keep a note of that in the side. So yeah, you can see this event port modify. So these details will be showed at the uh, log details as well and it will get entered in the file as well. So if I do uh, bring it up again, so link h1 s1 up link s2 h2 up so all these details which i just entered it will be showing in the log files as well as in the file uh, now i'll stop this number file and exit this since we have captured all those details which needed i'll exit the number file now if I do ls command all these files will be there again so nano link add dot txt it will show all these details about the link now uh, the host which is connecting to switches the host which is uh, connecting to other switches and the switches which are getting connected to each other all these will be detailed here uh, there's one more nano switch enter dot txt so you can see which all switches are there and how it is connected to which port it will be shown over here and the port modified which I have done over here for these four uh, it will be shown in the port modify text so if I do a nano port modify dot txt it will have all those details so it will show which link went down and which link came up again 
so it will be there in the file so the very important thing to understand from here is that if you do any topology changes if you want to see how the topology works the dumper file is very important in making us understand so once we have got all those details in our text file we can use that text file for further computation uh, so that will be explained in the next uh, video uh, that's all for now uh, I think we have discussed a lot about uh, dumper files already in, it has been three videos and uh, which, which was the most important thing because uh, from there uh, the basic manipulation starts and you can work on your project um, you can decide on which parameter you want to work on based on the basis of the dumper file uh, it took us a while to understand this um, I hope uh, you will uh, get useful information from this and uh, it will help you in your project or your work uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, have a good day.